Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at the uh, GoPro HD Hero 2. It's this bad boy right here, okay? Amazing camera, amazing camera. Of course it has two buttons, I'll take it out of the enclosure so you can see what I'm talking about. It's got two buttons, one on the top, which is basically your select button during the menus, and one to scroll through your menus. Uh, and this is also a shutter button. This camera is so small, it's amazing. And of course it can uh, shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. 1080 by 1920 pixel resolution. That is uh, pretty amazing for such a small camera at such a reasonable price. Um, now you can put this camera anywhere at all. On a horse, uh, underneath your, your skidoo to film the, the track. Uh, I want to try that with my friend's skidoo actually. But yeah, it's an amazing camera. On the front here, we have the uh, s scroll button, and then also that red light. It's a status light. Uh, on top, we have another small red status light, select button. The back, we have a nice red status light, and the back back connection. On the bottom, another red status light. Look at that. On the side, on the top here, we have a uh, video thing. It's like one of those 16th of an inch jacks for video output to your TV. Also have a USB in the middle for uh, charging and uh, data connectivity. And lastly on the bottom you can see a microphone input for a better sound quality. On the other side, SD card slot. Now for more, most HD uh, filming you're going to need a Type 10 SD card. A little bit more expensive. And a micro HDMI output for your TV. Amazing. Now, uh, as I was saying about, uh, what was I going to talk about? About the microphone, comes with two types of back doors for the encasing. Solid waterproof back door and the skeleton back door, which is at my other house. The skeleton back door is not waterproof, but it is designed for better sound quality at speeds, wind speeds of under 100 miles per hour. Now, here's the enclosure. Very light, of course. They're both very light. Together, still pretty light. Put the camera in the enclosure, close the back door, hook on the clamp, it's normally not, not that complicated, it's just the clamp unhooked itself, there, then put that on there and there, completely waterproof, now, this, uh, now it's completely durable as well. So you can put it anywhere, it's waterproof, lens is completely uh, scratch proof and waterproof and of course much cheaper to replace the case rather than the camera itself. Two buttons are still, uh, still fine, you can see the screen on the front uh, and I thought you'd need the Wi-Fi remote for uh, four wheeling and stuff but you know what, you really don't. As long as you have it hooked on to the side of your helmet like that guy does or on the top that it's perfect because you can just look in the mirror of your ATV or your dirt bike. You can see the status light or see the screen. You can see that it's recording and see where it's pointed. I don't need a Wi-Fi backpack. Uh, either if I even if I do something like uh, with uh, from from a, another angle, I can just hit record and then go and then drive past it and then go back and get the camera. I don't need a Wi-Fi backpack. This thing does the trick all by itself. Well, this is how basically the main mounting system works. So I can find the strap I just had. See, here's the uh, screw that goes into the bottom of the encasing. Now, before you would screw it in, you would slide it. There's another piece that's missing at my other house at the moment. Into the into this thing, and this is a sticky pad that goes on the side of your helmet or your Jeep, and then just screw it in. And then you can just angle it with this uh, screwy connectivity. Okay. Now it also comes with a helmet strap that goes around your head and over your head to the front. And the camera would mount there. Now that's great for things like when you don't own your own helmet. It does, come up, uh, it does fit a helmet or it can fit your bare head. Size is adjustable. Now the thing is, if you're a skier who likes to rent your helmet, not going to work out so well uh, for this thing. 
for the sticky because you're not going to be able to get it off afterwards. You can probably get pissed off at you at the rental shop. But the thing is with that is that you can use the strap that I'm talking about now. And uh, the thing is with that, goggles. You can't wear goggles with it. You're going to have to sacrifice the ability to take your goggles off on the, on the ski lift uh, with that thing. If you can't have, you know, have two straps, one on top of another. That might get a little annoying. Uh, if I have skied, uh, when I do finally get out on the slopes with this thing, I'm going to put the video right there. If there's no video where my hand is, well, that means I haven't been out skiing with it. So check back, and then we'll put the video here. Uh, so get rid of that. Uh, I already did take this thing out on the four-wheeler in the snow on the skidoo and the four-wheeler. Right here, you can see uh, that video that I took. My channel. That's me on my friend's Polaris Indy 600 driving along my four wheeler. Don't know if you can see that. On my Kawasaki Brute Force 750, 2011. Great camera. Uploaded uh, nicely. My computer is slow. My internet is also slow on top of that. So uh, it didn't work out so well for uploading. I only have one video up so far. I will get lots of video up, I promise, because now I got this machine. But I haven't really tried uploading with yet. That was just the phone base that fell. Um, yeah, if you want me to film anything in particular with this camera, let me know, and I will do so. Uh, it, for photos, still photographs, I tried taking them. You really need a still shot. Lighting needs to be good, and a tripod would be recommended, or if it was sitting on a table, because it doesn't take a uh, great photo. They, they often come out blurry. you got to keep it really still. Um, I'm not sure what the frame rate on the fo still photos is or not, but uh, you can slow the frame rate for video down to 140 frames per second as long as you want to compromise the resolution and that's ridiculous I tried it out and it's pretty awesome uh, what else was I gonna say about quality of the output it's really nice uh, the time-lapse photography does not uh, take a, it doesn't make a video when you take the files put them on the computer because uh, if it were to take a video we, you don't know what the frame rate on the video would want to be, right? So it just basically saves it as a bunch of pictures, and I think a little bit takes a bit more of a uh, bit more space than regular video. I'm not sure about that though. I would guess. So this is the case. Really nice camera. Really nice system it comes with. Perfect. Nice and durable. That's a GoPro HD Hero 2. I think my mom got it at the Golden Image. Have a good one.